allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lupe. Now I know what you're thinking. Lupe is a girl's name. Well, it's not. It's one of those names that could be either male or female, a bilateral name or whatever it's called. You know, like Renee or Terry or Michael. But I get that a lot. You know, sometimes I'll have somebody leave me a voicemail and say, Lupe left an application with us and we need to ask her a question. Or I'll get an email that's addressed to a Miss Lupe. What I don't understand is why people assume and don't ask first. And sometimes when I show up in person, they'll tell me that they were expecting a girl. And I wonder if they're disappointed that I'm a guy or they're just disappointed with me. Sometimes I respond to the emails and I tell them that I'm a mister and not a miss. Then they'll get real apologetic, apologetic. And sometimes I'll be a jerk and tell them that they shouldn't assume Lupe is a girl's name. I could just imagine what they think of me when I say that, you know. But I only do that to the people I don't want or need anything from. And some people go out of the way and tell me about the Lupes that they know or have met. Some people will say, I have an aunt named Lupe. As if they're trying to confirm that Lupe is a girl's name. Like I made it up or something. As if I don't want to use my real name out of all the names in the world that I could use as a fake name, I pick Lupe. Like I'm not smart enough to pick a more manly name to use as my fake name. Why would I want to use a fake name and then why would I use Lupe as my fake name? So for those of you who don't know, Lupe is spelled L-U-P-E and it's pronounced Lupe. I don't understand why some people always want to put a Y at the end of my name and call me Loopy. I tell them that yes, I'm a little nuts, but that it's pronounced Lupe. So they'll say Lupe. I've even had some people call me Lupa or Lucas. But the funniest ones are the overseas telemarketers. They'll call asking for Vadalup. I know that their English is bad, but their Spanish is even worse. So I'll, I'll mess with them and I'll say that there's no one here by that name, which technically I'm right. And some of them will be persistent and they'll call back and they'll slowly pronounce my name and they'll say, I'm looking for Vadalup. So I tell them that there's no one here by that name. If you can't pronounce my name, stop calling. And don't call back until you pronounce it properly. If you think that's bad, my last name is pronounced Alcides. And it's pronounced Alcides. You spell it A-L-S-I-D-E-Z. It should be easy, but it's not. Growing up, people would always call me all sides. The first time that happened to me, I didn't even know they were trying to pronounce my name until they spelled it out. What's worse is that some beaners, some beaners can't even pronounce it right either. One guy has called me Alasendez even though there's no N in my name. So could you imagine growing up with a girl's name like Lupe and then with my last name? Yeah, it was quite enjoyable. And yes, for those of you who don't know or aren't sure, Lupe is short for Guadalupe. I spent a, a good amount of my childhood in a small town, predominantly Anglo, in Texas. So could you imagine how they constantly butchered my name? 
the meme kids would call me guacamole. <laughs> All I could think was, that doesn't even sound the same. It doesn't even rhyme. What's funny is how non-Spanish speaking people always want to pronounce the G in my name. They don't know that the G-U makes a W sound, like agua. You don't say agua. So they would call me Guadalupe or Guadalupe. <laughs> but what's funny is that non-Mexicans or non-Spanish speaking people always want to call me by my long name. I'm not sure why, but they always want to call me Guadalupe. I tell them that that's way too long to just call me Lupe. And they tell me that yes, Lupe is much easier for them to say. But one thing for sure is, Lupe is a Mexican name. People may, may mispronounce my name. They may assume that I'm female. But at least they know that I'm Mexican. They just assume I'm a Mexican female. 